My, my name is Maria, I'm 22 years old and I live in St. Petersburg and I'm a Russian teacher. So, that's it. Yeah. Um, my name's Sophia, I live in Scotland near Edinburgh and I've been in St. Petersburg for just over a month now and I started learning Russian from scratch. Um, I think St. Petersburg is amazing. I, When I first came here I knew very little about Russia, I couldn't speak any Russian and it was a big surprise for me about like the city itself is it's like a European city but it just has a completely different culture um, and the architecture is amazing, the language is beautiful. So for me I live here since um, like five years I think and uh, me too, it's like, it's like a student city of Russia actually and there is a lot, there is a lot of youth and a lot of bars and the architecture is amazing and I like the weather here <laughs> even it's rainy uh, a lot. Yeah, when I first got here the weather was so so hot and everyone was telling me they were like the weather's like Edinburgh and I just didn't believe them because it was like 35 degrees when I got here and now it's like late August and it's raining and it's like it does remind me a lot like Edinburgh actually <laughs> but it's nice it's like it, it changes a lot definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I'd say that comfort for me is, is like when I first came here I found it very stressful because I didn't know that much about the culture and I was like very worried about the fact that I knew so little Russian um, and I was like very surprised as well when I went to order things at shops at first or like to order like coffee and tea at um, cafes I was so surprised by how understanding the people were that, you know, like I was still learning Russian, like they're very, they were just so, so nice to me and I think they're much more hospitable than the people in British cafes almost, like they never like get frustrated, they're always like smiley and yeah, really lovely. So. But the waiters, like they are less rude in Great Britain, I assume. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean sometimes like like actually most of the time the waiters here are really polite mm -hmm. um, but there's definitely like a difference between like I'd say in Britain that like we are definitely I like we're quite a formal country maybe um, like a lot of the people are quite formal but um, I'd never say that the waiters here have been rude but um, it's yeah it's just it's just slightly different it's really hard to explain <laughs> I have been to Italy for example and there is a huge difference between waiters there and here because waiters here don't smile at all uh, yes and there they are like very polite they try to speak with you and they try to ask you like where are you from when they see some foreign people Yes, and it's yeah, they always uh, try and have like a conversation. Yeah, they try to, yeah. To, to have a conversation, and uh -huh. that's amazing. And uh, of course, like uh, yes, this attitude uh, is amazing, and and I like it very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean they've got definitely like like there's like a Zara across the street from um, Iduka basically. It's like a five minute walk, and um, I'd say it's it's really interesting as well because the prices. So the prices here for food. Is, is so so cheap like it's it's amazing like when I first got here I like couldn't believe it but for clothing the, the prices are sort of the same and like I can always recognize like a few brands um, but I went to this place called Etage um, and it was like more sort of Russian streetwear actually this is this jumper <laughs> I got there um, and that was very it was really really cool and it was a really cool place as well it had like graffiti on like like all, all the buildings around it and it was like it was sort of like a little market for clothes maybe um, and that was really fun that was like one of my highlights definitely what about food <laughs> oh food the food here is very different the food um, is it's good they eat a lot of um, Georgian food and I've tried like most of the Russian classics I'd say I love borscht and I love like pilmeni and you know things like that but they do have one thing called a kroshka, a kroshka um, which was very it was a very interesting experience for me to have this for the first time because it's, it's so they have a drink called kvass which is like a sort of a fizzy it's it kind of reminded me a bit of coca-cola um, and it's basically a soup with like 
called kvass and they put like vegetables <laughs> and meat in it and the first time I had it it's just we have nothing like that in Britain the first time I had it it was definitely an experience I have been to Italy like it was an amazing experience so I will talk about it sure. uh, I tried lampredotto uh, it's like a sandwich I don't remember how to say it in English but with uh, like organs of animal, I don't know. Ooh, like, ooh. Uh, <laughs> um, the digestions. Uh, yeah, yeah, like intestines, maybe, that, intestines and guts. Intestines, uh, intestines. Oh. It was disgusting. Oh, okay. Like, like in it broke stereotypes about Italian uh, Italian food Cuisine. because everyone likes Italian, like like. All the people like Italian food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, all the people like pasta and pizza, but they probably didn't try a lot of them. When mother is is not at home, we cook pasta because it's very easy. But when uh, mother is at home, probably she will cook piroshki, uh, usually on Sunday, uh, or we can eat pilmeni also. We all, always we have uh, pilmeni in the refrigerator. There's a really good. Um, uh, like Chinese takeaway place mm. near where I'm staying and I have it all the time because it's like it's like 99p for like this big um, thing of noodles and it's it's amazing and like and I've been eating out most of the time actually like just because it's so it's so cheap and I want to take advantage of like and the food is actually really good although they do put dill like you know the the herb they put dill on everything here i've never eaten so much dill in my life <laughs> like it's insane i'm not sure yet i i think i want to live somewhere like italy or france um and i think it's coming to russia has been a really good experience for me because i've never traveled by myself to anywhere like i've never been properly immersed into like a different culture before um so coming here was like it was quite scary, it was quite stressful at the beginning because I had no idea what it was going to be like. But it's been a really good experience, like, um, just like learning, like, and there are so many similarities. Um, uh, but yeah, so coming here has definitely given me, like, a lot of confidence to go and travel to other places, like, yeah. I, I like Russia, and it's my homeland, but I would like to live somewhere, probably, for three months or four months to understand how how is it actually to to live in another country. I would like to to go to France because I speak French fluently and I like France a lot. So that's why I would like to go to Marseille or, or Paris, something like that, or to go to Italy too. So we have yeah. the yeah, <laughs> yeah. dreams. Yeah. 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 To eat. Yes, yeah. to eat. Yes, to eat, yes. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I don't travel abroad a lot and I hadn't this experience of living in another country so probably I will I will go to France for, uh, to live there for four or five months and I will understand that it's my place and I want to live there um, and probably not I don't know so we'll see <laughs> how will it yeah. go um, I think I think St Petersburg is a really um, comfortable place to live actually I've had a really good time and I feel like it's it's quite it's quite like a cozy city and I feel like as a student if you were to come here it's it's like amazing for, for tourism and for living here I think um, but I don't know I don't I, I definitely want to come back later but I I don't know whether I want to live here when I'm older I want to do a bit more traveling and then decide I guess when I was for the first time in St. Petersburg, I thought, no, it's just for traveling and I don't want to live here. Uh, but now I think like it's a very student city and there are uh, a lot of canteens, for example, if we compare, if we compare for example, Moscow and St. Petersburg, there are not a lot of places to go uh, for students in Moscow and there are a lot of like Mm -hmm. Amazing places to go in St. Petersburg, like stand-up comics are that here, and uh, a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars, a lot of like underground places for teenagers and for students, and a lot of clubs. So it's a real student city, like. But for people who, for example, looking for a job, it's better to go to Moscow because students have a lot of problems with finding the job after the university. 
because all like all the companies, all the great companies are in Moscow. It depends on what you want to yeah. to get from this experience. From, from this experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I don't I know a bit less about um, about that kind of stuff, but I'd say like. Um, if you if you if you came to St Petersburg just to learn about Russian culture and um, and just to like travel around a bit, it's an amazing. I think I think it would probably be better than Moscow. I haven't actually been to Moscow, but because there's so much like there's so much history here, um, and there's always like and there's lots of like there's so many um, cathedrals and churches, and they are all beautiful. Yes. Um, and so it's like there's always something, there's always something that I haven't tried, you know, yet. Like I've been here for like a month and a half and I still haven't do, done like any of the stuff that like yes. lots of people are suggesting, so. I feel I'm in Sector in Moscow. Like for, for students from yeah. pro, uh, like little, little towns, it, it would be like very difficult to live in Moscow, mm -hmm. especially for like first years. Like it can be, it can be stressful <laughs> because it's very, Huge and large city, like yeah, lot of, yeah. there are a lot of people. And uh -huh. Yeah, and I think because St. Petersburg, like the actual city, it's so much bigger than like Edinburgh. It kind of reminds me a little bit like London, um, maybe like the center of London in some parts, um, because it's very like even though it's a huge city, it's there's so many different parts to it, um, and it's it's all beautiful. I'm always so surprised when I walk past buildings and I'm like, that should be like a famous building. <laughs> It's just amazing, and it's like a coffee shop or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, oh. thank you very much uh, for watching us. <laughs> yeah. Um, like and subscribe mm. <laughs> um, to to the channel. Yes. Um, thank you. Come to Russia. La paka paka. Paka paka. Get so flustered. <laughs> I'm being filmed. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>